Mark 97 off on the right leg. And your referee in charge is Joe Cortez. Introducing first, he fights out of the blue corner. He's wearing white, trimmed in red and blue, and he weighed in at 147 pounds. He is from San Cristobal, Colombia, with a professional record that stands at 34 wins, only three defeats, 28 wins by... Gentlemen, here is the former IBF junior welterweight champion, Rafael Pineda. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the red corner. He's wearing red trimmed in gold, and he weighed in at 149 pounds. And he comes to us from Detroit, Michigan. His record, an outstanding 52 wins, only three defeats with one draw, 31 wins by knockout. He is the rated IBF's number two contender. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Oba, the Motor City Car. All right, gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I expect a good, clean fight. I think Las Vegas Camerino, tiene una pelea limpia. Protect yourself at all times. Remember, guys, I'm fair, but I'm firm. Okay, touch him up. The referee, Joe Cortez, with the final instructions in the ring for this welterweight bout. And our tail of the tape. Carr coming in at 149. He stands 5'9", a little bit shorter than Pineda at uh, 147, his weight coming in. And the reach advantage, of course, of the taller man, Rafael Pineda. 28 knockouts, and uh, we mentioned that Carr has only three losses in championship fights to outstanding boxers. Well, the same can be said of Pineda. The unified rules apply here. There is no standing eight count, and uh, the fight can only be stopped by the referee, not by three knockdowns. You cannot be saved by the bell in any round. And we're ready for action here in round one of this scheduled ten round while to wait bout. Carr and White, Pineda in the red trunks from Colombia. Born in Barranquilla, now lives in San Cristobal. He's 35 years old. He's had four title fights. Back in 89, he lost by knockout to Mark Breland, the WBA crown, in December of 91. He stopped Roger Mayweather in a ninth round knockout in the IBF. Junior welterweight crown, uh, which he defended once, and then in July of 92, he lost over 12 rounds to Pernell Whitaker. And Tim Obercar has been working with uh, Oscar De La Hoya. I would love to have seen some of those sparring sessions. Obercar, uh, as we said, uh, just a very experienced, a good puncher, a good boxer. In fact, uh, he idolizes the, the boxers uh, from the past who are both boxer punchers. The likes of Ray Robinson, Sugar Leonard, and Muhammad Ali he calls his idols, and that's who he tries to emulate in his style. Pineda down in Colombia, they used to talk about him as a youngster coming up uh, as the man who might succeed your great middleweight champion, Rodrigo Valdez. Well, Pineda was always a good puncher, Tim, but uh, not in the class of Rodrigo Valdez. Valdez is just an underrated world champion, but also an underrated middleweight. He could fight. No doubt about that. Pineda's uh, victories include wins over Angel Beltre. You mentioned Roger Mayweather and uh, Clarence Coleman. On his victims, and big fights for him. Four-year layoff. Uh, one would uh, think that that would uh, tarnish his skills considerably, but he's done quite well in his comeback, which began when he returned in uh, 1996. Victory over Victor Ochoa. And won uh, the next three. Then knocked by decision before a uh, knockout federal series down in Colombia and then lost to Emmett Linton a victory in his last outing against Sean Cowdes down in Pocomo, Indiana well, Tim, more than the layoff the fact that he's 35 years of age should have some effect on him 15 years as a professional boxer Obacar, 28 years old from Detroit, Michigan on the junior Olympic champion Outstanding amateur, along with his long pro career, he's had 168 wins and five defeats as a, an amateur. Four-time Silver Gloves champion, he's been a pro since the age of 17. And over car, a little shaky there. Final seconds of round one. Looks like he's got himself back together. 
And he got his attention here in round one. In the quarter of Pineda. Oh, the core trained by his dad, Eddie Carr. A couple of experienced uh, cornermen working uh, with him, Abel Sanchez and Mike Vital. See the shot that got his attention right there, and it wobbled the knees of Carr. Good left hand from Pineda. Obacar had three title fights back in 94, stopped by Felix Trinidad in the IBF Wallerway title fight. October of 96, he lost over 12 to Mike Forte trying to win the WBA crown. In May of 99, knocked out the 11th by Oscar De La Hoya for the WBC Wallerway title. And Tim, you know, if I was training over for, I certainly would have, especially when it's close to fight time, Fox with an Oscar De La Hoya. That's got to take something out of him. no question about that. I would think, because all we've heard is that Oscar De La Hoya has had a very tough training camp under his new trainer, Floyd Mayweather Sr., putting a lot of boxing, and you've got a guy in there as good as Obakar. you got to believe that Carr did indeed take some punishment, too, as he prepared for this fight. over Livingstone Bramble, Daryl Coley, Frankie Randall along the way for Obacar. Three very good pros in their time. Bramble, a former lightweight champion. Maybe he's got that sneaky little left hook that he throws in there every once in a while, too. Real quick. very patient here in this second round as he was indeed in the first using the jab trying to find an opening he did manage a solid left hook back in the in the first round that got Carr's attention now a little blood from the nose of Obacar so that jab working effectively for the Colombian scheduled for 10 rounds these are welterweights as our main event will be tonight Oscar De La Hoya coming later against Arturo Gatti, the tough Canadian from Montreal and Jersey City. You can see Carr actually trying to figure out what to do with Pineda. And a minute to go in round two. Now he's trying moving to the right. You see, see he's trying to move behind that jab. So far, Pineda's been able to time it. Pineda started as a lightweight. After he lost to Cornell Whitaker. He retired from boxing. As we mentioned, he came back four years later. Youngest of 14 children in his family. Baron Kia. He's tasted victory as a champion. 140 pounds. He is the IBF champ. Final seconds of round number two. Pineda, a little swelling there that they're working on already under the right eye of Pineda. Now the corner of Obacar, and he had a little blood from the nose. So they're working to stand a lot of times, blood. A lot of times, Tim, with these nosebleeds, when they start shoving that stuff up there on the swab, makes it worse. I used to leave them alone, just use some pressure on the bridge of the nose to stop the nosebleeds. 
Second right out. hand from Ovacar might have caused that swelling under the uh, eye of Pineda. Ovacar ranked number two by the IBF in the waterweight division. Pineda continuing his comeback after a four-year layoff at age 35. Each fighter has lost only three times in long careers. Ovacar has had 56 professional fights at age 28. Pineda for his part, 37. For Carr, that's after a long amateur career that has turned out a record of 168 wins and only five defeats for the junior Olympic champ. Well, that is hard to do, Tim. The three round bouts to win just about every single fight. Very difficult. So far, Pineda has only shown a good left hook. Outside of that, really, I haven't seen any other punches from him. Round three scheduled for 10.